In this video, we're going to write a C program to calculate the perimeter of a rectangle where the rectangle length and width will be accepted as input from the user. The first thing we'll do is declare variables to store the rectangle's length, width, and perimeter. So we'll have double length, comma width, comma perimeter. And here we've declared three variables of type double, length, width, and perimeter to store the length, width, and perimeter of the rectangle. We've used type double for these variables because a double variable can store numbers with a decimal place like 2.5 or 3.5. This will allow our program to calculate the perimeter of rectangles that have lengths and widths with decimal places. The next thing we'll do is prompt the user to enter in the rectangle length. So we'll have printf length colon. And here we're calling the function printf and we're passing it this string as an argument. The string contains the text length colon space. That text is going to be output to the terminal to prompt the user to enter in the rectangle length. Next, we'll store the length that the user enters into the length variable using scanf. So we'll have scanf and then a string here with percent %lf inside the string, and then and length as the second argument to scanf. So percent %lf inside this string that's provided to scanf as the first argument is a placeholder telling scanf to expect the user to enter in a double value. That double value is going to be stored into the length variable. This and operator is going to return the memory address of the length variable. We call that a pointer in C. So what we're passing here is a pointer to the length variable. Scanf will use that pointer to store the value that the user enters into the length variable. Next, in the exact same way, we'll prompt the user to enter in the rectangle width and we'll store the value they enter into the width variable. So we'll have printf, and this time width colon, and then we'll have scanf with percent %lf, and this time and width. So this will prompt the user to enter in the rectangle width and then store the width that's entered into the width variable. Now we have the rectangle length and width and we're able to calculate the perimeter. So we'll have here perimeter is equal to two times and then in brackets length plus width. So here we're using several operators. This here is the assignment operator. It's going to take the value that this expression results in and store it into the perimeter variable. This here is the plus operator. It's going to add together the rectangle length and width. These brackets here are going to ensure that this operation happens first. It also makes the code a little bit easier to read. Then we're going to multiply the result of adding together the length and the width by two. That will give us the rectangle perimeter. Now we can output the rectangle perimeter to the user. So we'll have printf and then perimeter colon percent f backslash n and then here perimeter. So again, we're calling printf and we're providing it with a string as its first argument. This time the string includes a special placeholder, percent %f. That is telling printf to expect a double value to be provided as an argument, which we do here with perimeter. That value is going to be output here. This backslash n is the special new line character. It's going to output a new line at the end of the string. So that way, any subsequent calls to printf would start outputting text on the next line of the terminal. So now our program is ready to be tested. We can save it, compile it, and run it. And we'll enter in a length of 3.222 and a width of 2.555. And we get a perimeter of 11.554, which is correct. Now we do have these extra decimal digits here. We might not need those. We might only want two decimal digits of precision. We can do that by using the precision field. So here we could have percent dot two F and this will ensure that the double value only outputs with two decimal digits of precision. So if we save compile and run our program again and we enter in a length of 3.555 and 2.333 for the width, we only get two decimal digits of precision 
in our answer, we get 11.78 here. So this is how we can find the perimeter of a rectangle where the length and width have been accepted as user input using C. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.